Virginia McClam. Gwen Eckerson. And where are you both from? I'm from Stephenville. North Carolina. Okay, so you've come a fair way and you're pretty local. Yes. So what um, have you learned at convention this year? Um, this is my fifth year straight coming to conventions. I've been a director for two years and I can say the spirit of the people, the uh, attitudes and the willingness to work together and move forward has increased and gotten better and it's very exciting and our leadership is very exciting. Do you feel similar or differently? I'm very laid back this time. Yeah. So how is it different from previous years? Well some years we have a lot of squabbling. I've been coming about 25 or 30 years and sometimes it gets real heated discussion and we don't get anything done because everyone's just arguing and you know, so the last two or three years really have been everyone really trying to come together and get it. So what do you think has changed? That's hard to say. Uh, it probably starts at the top. Um, and I think we've gotten back to our basics of the love for our cutting horses and just thinking about this not being in existence and how much it means to us and doing whatever we need to do to, to keep the NCHA going. So you're coming away feeling what? Well, I'm excited about our new IT program that we're going to have. Um, we're going to have an archivist now for, I mean, there's just thousands and thousands of videos from way back that were reel to reel. Um, so we're going to have an archivist now that's going to try to get all of that where the historical part, we, we've really let it go. And so now I'm excited about that. That's the now, next thing. There was a little controversy apparently about the amount of money being spent on that. But what's your feeling? Is that a good investment? Yes. Absolutely. So everything's in good hands? I think so. I, I, lo I think Jim Brett is doing an awesome job. He is... He has been so easy to work with and is just so professional and he's, he's just, he's a fantastic leader for us. I agree with that about Jim Brett. He's made a big difference. I'm excited to get back on the East Coast and spread the good news for a change. Kristen York from Wyoming. So you've come a fair way. Why did you decide to come to convention today, well, this weekend? Well, I'm actually the national director from Wyoming, so I'm required. <laughs> Part of the job description. And what was it that you um, have discovered here at convention that you found interesting? I think the most interesting part for me is how much change they want to enact. They have a lot of task force and committees starting to look at our governance, to look at our class restructuring. Um, so definitely the wind of change is coming. That could be good or bad in some people's opinion, but I think that is that is the underlying, I guess, um, thing I take away from this convention. What's the message you'll be taking back to your members? The biggest thing is to um, make sure that you talk to your directors, talk to the governance task force. Um, they've named all the people. They actually stood around today so that you could ask them questions and talk to them. So the big thing is if you want to see a change, get involved and talk to the people necessary. Anything else that um, you enjoyed about the convention? The Hall of Fame dinner was fabulous. Um, it was, it's always exciting, but last night was a lot of fun. Why so? What, 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 why, how is it different to other years? I think the biggest part was the group. Um, there's always, each year is a special group of people. Last year was just, is a lot of fun and a lot of history. That's the best part. Um, you know, NCHA always has to try to strike a balance between preserving our history, but moving forward with an ever-changing world. And so that's what I always look at the Hall of Fame because that's our chance to preserve what got us to this point. Deanna Lee from Spokane, Washington. Deanna, why did you come to the NCHA convention this year? Well, I'm a director for Washington. I'm also a new member of the Long Range Planning Committee. And I came here to represent Washington and find out what the rest of the country and NCHA is doing and what our leadership, where we're going. So what were some of the things that you learned that you didn't know before? Well, I learned that our long-range planning committee is very busy at work. NCHA as a whole is moving forward 
tremendously fast. And I think we have a great organization, and it's great to come and visit with everybody and see everybody's viewpoint. Was there anything that, you know, your members wanted you to address at the meeting? I think our members want the communication from our convention and our leadership back to them. And July 4th, we will present what we learned here and where we're going and how we're going to get there. And so that's what our membership was wanting. Well, it sounds like you're coming away with an optimistic feeling. I'm very optimistic. We're growing leaps and bounds, and I think it's a great organization.